Hey guys, Chris here with the good old gamer. So today we have GPU news, we have monitor and HDR news, and we have corporate stealing. So first up over at videocards.com, it looks like Azrock's roadmap has been leaked. Now, it looks like there are no new GPUs coming out until at least the end of February. And the reason why that is, is, well, that's where the graphs end here. Now, a lot of people were thinking that there would be new GPUs from NVIDIA, or from AMD, rather, this year. And I went ahead and talked about the possibility of that in this video right here. Now, is it technically possible? Sure. Is it likely? No. Going back to this slide here, I mean, ASRock just joined the AMD GPU team. They just started producing these just a few months ago. Now, why would they have jumped on board selling RX 580s and RX Vegas if they were just going to replace them in a couple of months? They would have just waited a few more months and used new GPUs if they were coming. So that's the first indication that likely this is going to be the case. Second off, I also predicted that AMD is going to wait for 7 nanometers because it simply makes sense. It looks like NVIDIA is going to go ahead and go with 12 nanometers to get out GPUs this year, which, to keep costs realistic, that's the direction that they have to go. Uh, AMD is not going to benefit without some sort of major architectural advancement, which we don't even believe Navi is going to be. So they need another edge, and that being the process advantage by waiting till 7 nanometers makes a lot of sense. If they throw out Navi at 7 nanometers versus a 12 nanometer NVIDIA chip, they have major, major advantages there that can balance things out between the architectures. Now next up, AMD and Ubisoft add FreeSync 2 and HDR support to Far Cry 5. Now, clearly, this is an AMD-sponsored game, so, of course, they're going to go ahead and tout their technologies there. Now, now, what I find really interesting about this, I mean, personally, I don't really care about HDR. It's it's not a technology I really care about. I don't need my monitors brighter. I don't I don't need any of that. That's, that's me personally. But anyways, uh, what I do find interesting is the way that media are starting to cover things, and the fact that this is being brought up, uh, the fact that Samsung is now supporting FreeSync on... TVs. And this is a huge deal. And I don't think people quite realize that this literally is the nail in G-Sync's coffin. That and the fact that G-Sync 2 or whatever it's called is $500 for the module. Uh, Samsung TVs, all their 2018 QLED models, and some models that aren't even their high-end Q- QLEDs, uh, they do have some more budget-friendly models, will support these features. They support FreeSync. They will support HDR. And these are much more affordable displays than the competition offers. And this is part of the reason why people want more and better AMD GPUs, and they want them now. They don't want them next year, and they don't want Vega. They want something better today is because they want to take advantage of technology like this that is now coming out. So I understand that side of the argument. Now, I just want to throw this in here. This isn't something that we'd normally talk about, but... AMD is now stealing employees from Intel. So this is a little bit of a switcheroonie, as they would call it in the professional market. Um, So typically, or at least recently, Intel has been snatching up a lot of AMD's talent. And it looks like AMD is now taking Mr. Martin Ashton, who was the former vice president of the Core and Visual Computing Group, Chief Engineer, VTT, and Director of Hardware, and blah, 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 whatever. So he's an important dude. Uh, apparently, uh, David Wang, he seems very impressed with this guy, and he wanted him on his on the team. So they went out, they got him, snatched. Uh, so I just wanted to bring that up. I think that that's kind of interesting. Well, there you have it. Looks like no new AMD GPUs this year. I mean, it makes sense. I I said that when I said 2019 is going to be awesome. If AMD wanted to release a RX Vega on 7 nanometer, it'd be infinitely more powerful. And it should be able to compete with whatever NVIDIA can come out with on 12 nanometer. Now, the rumors on NVIDIA, I'm not even going to talk about all of that. I don't know if you guys have noticed. I've kind of stepped away. Every day there's just new crap coming out on that. I think NVIDIA has a game plan, and they're executing said game plan. Now, I might do a video on that. Um, That's just my opinions and my thoughts. Uh, Nothing concrete, just using the information that is out there and the stuff that actually makes sense. So we might cover that. But anyways, 
like I said, this all seems to make sense. I would just cool the Jets. If you need a new GPU, just buy it. I mean, we're kind of at that point now. If you want to wait another month or so for NVIDIA, but you're going to keep waiting. Um, realistically speaking, any of the new technologies, like the real-time ray tracing, everybody's like freaking out about this. It's going to be in Metro and Metro is coming out next year. Real-time ray tracing, if it actually starts working and they start utilizing it in games, it's 20, 20, 20 21, uh, or later at the absolute earliest. So your next GPU, you should be you know considering that. For now, it's don't worry about it at all. Uh, we're not even going to be off DirectX 11 until 2020, 2021 anyway. So that's just the way things are going to be going. Till new consoles come out, everything's going to remain the same. That's how it works, folks. No new game engines, no new technologies. They'll shoehorn some things in to showcase and demo and make people feel good because they spent, you know, $3,000 on Titan V. Um but realistically speaking, it's just not worth it. So just buy whatever is going to do what you needed to do here today. And speaking of that, real quick, um, I just noticed today I went on Newegg to take a look at Vega prices. Vega 56 at 475, 480, and Vega 64 at about 580. This is about $80 over MSRP. And realistically speaking, anybody thinking they're going to be getting one of these GPUs at $499 or $399 or just out of their mind. These things are far too valuable. The HBM memory alone is worth about $120 to $150. So there's no way you're ever going to see these at those prices. AMD wish that they could, but realistically speaking, this is about as low as these are going to get until a new GPU series drops from either AMD or NVIDIA. But honestly, I don't think they're going to go any lower than this, regardless of price to performance ratio. It's just not feasible for them to be sold for too much less than this so if you were in the market and you do have that cool new samsung tv and you do want to go ahead and push 1440p uh, 120 which a lot of those tvs do support uh these gpus should be able to handle that for you and you get to take advantage of that FreeSync 2 technology there sorry i just added that in real quick but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What are you expecting to happen? Now, granted, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Navi can launch next week. I have no idea, realistically. I don't work at AMD. Um, all we can do is just kind of see where things are going. Uh, the media, especially the tech tubers, the ones that cover things like this, mostly leaks and rumors and stuff, they're going freaking ape shit over anything. Like I said uh, a few videos ago, anytime somebody farts, and says the word GTX 1180, somebody's going to run in there and just start sniffing it up and write a story about it because holy shit. Um, anyway, I might go ahead and do a video applying logic to the basic information that we have and what would make sense, what sort of performance level might theoretically be possible, uh, things of that nature, because I did hear that rumor of 50% faster, the 1180 50% faster, and... Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to do a video on that because it's just marketing bullshit, but I'm thinking I'll go ahead and, and do that one here soon. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Let me know if you want to see that kind of video. And this has been kind of more of a freeform video. Let me know what you guys think about this video down there and, and how I'm presenting things. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. Please subscribe. Please share with friends. That really helps me out. And that's all I have for today. And I will catch you guys in the next video.